Hi friends, have dinner with us. Hello. We're having sushi again today. If you guys are wondering, uh, Michelle's lived here all week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't follow the vlog channel, Michelle's lived here all week. You should follow the vlog channel. <laughs> so we've been having, uh, for the last like four days. Yes. <laughs> we've been having dinner together. We got sushi again. They didn't have sweet shrimp. I'm devastated. They told me they would have it today and they didn't. Um, mm. We have a tempura roll, shrimp, salmon, uh, more shrimp, more salmon, more salmon, <laughs> crab legs from Costco. <gasps> you guys, we found this at Costco yesterday. It's already cooked and it's uh, packaged and I think it was like $20 for like two pounds or something. And the snow crab leg is so sweet. Oh my gosh, you guys, I bought two and I couldn't even finish one. That's how many was in like one package. And they also had clams. Check your local Costco. We also bought this at Costco. Um, it's flan. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. And it's in a glass container. So at the end, you guys can keep the glass. So I'm having that for dessert. Michelle's having ramen and mm -hmm. sushi. And then I also have a Connie salad. You want some of the Connie too? Sure. There's so much going on here. We'll share with Connie. Okay. Bon appetitis. Thanks, bon appetitis. mom. Bon appetitis. Also, I'm in the same outfit because I got another spray tan. Oh, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I tried the ramen yesterday. I'm trying it again. No, no, no. But a different one. Mm. You know this white sauce that they use? What I, is it? I really think it's Kewpie mayo. It tastes better though. Mm. I Maybe know. they have their own mix. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this. Mm. Mm. That's not soy sauce, is it? Mm -mm. This is eel and spicy mayo. Do we have a little container for soy sauce? No, they never give us containers. I don't know if this well, one has holes. No, like one of those? Oh, we can put one on here. Okay. Mm. You eat your ramen first, Mom. No, eat, it's okay. Eat your ramen. And no, because we'll... I was going to eat sushi anyways. Oh, okay. I can't believe you leave today. I can't even believe I was here like all week. It went by so fast. I'm so kind of sad. I had so much fun. It kind of feels like it didn't even happen, huh? I don't know. I hope your um, grandparents get their place remodeled more. I know. Maybe in the summer some mating can come. <sighs> this is... Uh, that would be nice. <laughs> this is the first time. What? Oh. Um, so, um, I, don't, I don't think so. Mom. Mm -hmm. I don't think so, unfortunately. What if your parents have to get their place remodeled? That's crazy. Uh huh. Hmm. Michelle is like never sushied out, and I'm on this like crazy sushi kick right now. We must take advantage. So we have to take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. We have to go to Kura. <gasps> yes. Actually, mm. we should. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mm. This one's better? The ramen tastes better today. Mm. Let's Listen. go to Kura. Let's do it. You love their sweet shrimp. Oh my god. I wish Carlos likes sushi. That would be fun. But I don't think he will. Mm -mm. Mm. 
Mmm. Unless this is just like chicken. Yeah. Mmm. Wow. It's delicious. I love when we film the randomest things. It's my favorite. Mm -hmm. It's like buffet style. Yeah, I love it. Uh oh. Okay. The salmon looks divine. Uh huh. Oh lord. I know. It's so big. Too far? No, it's just falling apart. Oh my god, oh my god. It's just, no, we got it, oh, mom. It's okay. just falling. Okay. <laughs> oh yay. Mm. Are you so excited to be home too, though? Mm hmm I miss fun. Mm. I miss my own bed mm. when I'm like away. Oh, I miss my bed for sure. Like just a regular routine? Yeah, you know me. I mm -hmm. love a routine. So to be out of the routine, definitely, I'm suffering. But I'm making it work. She's having fun here, though, people. Yeah, I'm having a ball. Don't get it twisted. I feel like it kind of sucks that I'm leaving, but mm -hmm. I do also miss home. Can we talk about Joey's finale now? Or Oh, yeah, we can. Okay. Cause like if you don't know man, like just, you need to go watch or how have you not already seen? First and foremost, <laughs> the producers did a great job editing because job. I didn't even pay attention to Kelsey. I thought it was going to be Daisy from the beginning. Kelsey's entrance with the whole voodoo doll thing, mm -hmm. I feel like a long time ago, with Bachelor and Bachelorette, when you did weird shit, you automatically got canceled. But he loved it. But apparently, Joey saw something. He ate that up. That we all didn't see. Because you said that he, they went and did a podcast. Mm -hmm. And um, Joey was giving Kelsey too much attention, apparently. Yeah, and the producers have to be like, you need to you lay need to, off. Like, knock it off, dude, because it's, it's too obvious. And then he wrote her a letter. To get That's insane. Yeah. And that was the letter that we saw when Daisy came into the room. That she was like talking away. Yep. So she knew she was gonna win. She knew she that was gonna win. That is so crazy. Yep. She knew that she was gonna win. Mm -mm. And I think towards the end, that's why he chose those words. Kelsey, right? Yeah, no, Kelsey I was. was. Yes, Kelsey and um, Joey, and how she knew. She knew. She knew. I want to rewatch The Bachelor. Wow, I just I cannot believe it. I want to watch the scene where they were doing the paintball thing. I want to rewatch The Bachelor so bad with you, so I can just. But they. The, but the producers did do a really good job. They did. Because I had Because no I'm sure idea. he was staring every time that I pointed the camera at him, even if he was staring at Kelsey, mm -hmm. they would probably pretend that he wasn't. Well, also, they did so bad editing the rose ceremony because Kelsey would get the first rose, but they would act like Daisy. <gasps> oh, yeah. Do you remember all the times they made a mistake? Oh, yeah. The girls all knew. Girls know. There's no way that you don't know. Yeah. Especially, not in the beginning maybe, but definitely when the numbers of girls go lower and lower, you know where you stand. Well, Daisy said that she knew it wasn't her because when it was the final two, mm -hmm. he there was a moment where Kelsey and Joey looked at each other and Daisy said she knew. She said that at the finale. Mm. She was like, I knew it wasn't me because I saw the way they looked at each other and I was like, this is not, this is going in his, like, in her favor. Damn. I know. Yeah, some interviewer interviewed Kelsey and was like, does it make you feel a certain way that Joey's sisters visibly were so like... Was that edited? Fond of Daisy. Fond of Daisy. And but was would, that edited? 
Oh, you know what? Who knows? Yeah. I don't know. But what did she say, Mom? She was like, no. Um, You know, Daisy had her chance and, like, they got along great. But, like, I talked to them every day and, like, yeah, we're friends and we, you know. But it's like, why would you even ask her that? Because that's just... are so weird. say to you oh um carlos michelle and i have a new hobby mm -hmm. it's called playing monopoly we are obsessed you guys it's carlos fun. won <sighs> with twenty five hundred dollars twenty five hundred dollars and several properties several it was so fun i loved it i'm gonna get us a real cash register <laughs> okay for the bank okay the target one I think they still have it. I'll have to look. Wait, but usually toy cash registers don't have slots enough for all the money. Mmm, guess I'm buying a real cash register. Oh my god, mom. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think your husband would say something. <laughs> he literally would look at you and be like, babe, really? I want to buy that microphone. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> use the mic when we're auctioning. Oh my God, that's so true. Going for ten dollars, anybody for ten dollars? I'm watching the cleaning lady right now. You're not watching that at all. Mm -mm. So, I didn't keep up after the whole like long disappearance of it. Oh. Yeah, I like. I stopped before he passed, too. He passed before the season. I don't even think I wa watched the end of last season. I didn't know he had cancer. I didn't either. Yeah. Did he know? I think he knew. Um, yeah. Why is he barking? I don't know. He I think son. he... I don't know. I feel so sad. I know. Because, like, as someone who's a huge fan. Yeah. How did I not know? Mm -hmm. Did you not share it? I don't know. I can't believe it's going to rain. Mm. I know. Remember when you would plan parties and you'd be like, my biggest fear is that it's going to rain? Well, because it was April, Mom. Mm-hmm. But now I feel like California is scarier. Like, we don't know our weather anymore. Like, why is it raining in California? I mean, we need it. We need it. No, we 1,000% need it. Very grateful for it. But our roads aren't meant for it. We aren't meant for it. California drivers, literally, we have the best weather ever. So when you put us in situate, not us. I am not one. People don't know how to drive. People don't know how to rain. drive. They freak out. And like, I think more people freak out and then it causes delays in people who can drive well. Mm. And obviously you're just supposed to be safer. But some people are just reckless. Yeah. You are supposed to go slower. You're not supposed to go the speed limit when it's raining and like pouring. I've seen people speed in the rain and I'm like, eh. It's bad. I think I'm just, I'm ready. I'm preparing myself mentally to like stay in and clean tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I think I like, I'm like, it's perfect. It's raining. It kind of sucks though. Cause Sunday everyone is supposed to get together and like, Oh, for Easter. Yeah. It's like a huge thing. Everything's closed on Sunday. Like people have like picnics and stuff. No and way. And now they won't. Yeah. Oh, for uh, East. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For Easter. I was like, wait, that's a Sunday thing. No, not a Sunday thing. I was like, wait, on Sunday? Sunday thing, but I'm sure people don't care. But like for Easter, you know, like a barbecue. Or what are you doing for Easter? Going to church. And then going home? Yeah. You're, you don't, guys don't do a lunch? Oh, no. No. No, because we have Appa at home. Oh, okay. I 
don't even know if Carlos hmm. celebrates Easter. Hmm. He doesn't. But growing up, like, he didn't either. Mmm. Some people grow up going to church and some don't. Mm-hmm. Do you it's think that for everyone? Do you think that your kids will go to church? Mm. Do you want them to? I don't really know where my life will lead me. Mm. I would like my church. I would like my church. I would like my children to go um, as much as they want to. That's good. I would like to open up the opportunity, and I would love to Not share the story. Yeah, yeah. I would love to share all of the stories and what I believe. Mm-hmm. But it's like I would love for them to like go to Sunday school sometimes. But if they're like I don't want to, or I feel uncomfortable, or it's just not necessary, right? Because they're not gonna, they're not going to willingly take in or soak up that information, anyways. When you force them, yeah. So there's no point. And I'm sure some people will have some different thoughts about that. Yeah, but it's your kids, but. Yeah, it's my kids and Wait, my own journey. Uh, I always wonder, um, since you're Christian and like you would marry someone that's like Catholic, would one of you convert or it doesn't matter? You kind of, like me and Carlos, we kind of I think just, as long as the other religion is not like, oh, we have to be the same to be married, mm. I would never convert. Oh, okay. No, because it's like... I always wondered. I'm like, hmm. I feel like it's harder different? for some people who have their own religion to convert yeah. because it's like... How do you convert when you believed one thing? You know mm. what I mean? Like, I can't go and be Catholic because I don't believe in the same beliefs. Yeah. I believe in what I believe. I think with Carlos and I, we just agreed that we're... Actually, we didn't even have to agree. It no, was just, you guys are just very yeah. respectful. But that's the yeah. thing. I'm Christian. I am very Christian. I do not know what the Buddhists... Uh, mm -hmm. believe. Same. I just know it's very good karma. I love Buddhists because I feel like literally every it's just time. so happy. Yeah, and, it's yeah. literally just. It's more about the mental be state. Be a good person. Yeah. Be clean. You know, all of that stuff. But I love going to Kim's mom's house and experiencing that and being a part of it. But that doesn't make me less yeah. of a Christian. Right. Or, you know, like, oh my gosh, you're doing the wrong. No, I'm just think... respecting someone else's culture. I think it's always good to just, like, be respectful and, like, have that healthy boundary. Absolutely. Anytime something is, like, pressured mm -hmm. in any category, mm -hmm. it makes it less appealing. Yes. Absolutely. That's why I'm always, like, when a lot of, like, a majority of Christians are very, like, opinionated in one way, I'm just, like... You guys are literally just making everybody look bad now. Mm. Like, we're not all like that. Yeah, of course. Like, we're all supposed to just love. That's really all it is. Just be a good person and love. Yeah. It's not that freaking hard. I went to church when I was little. I remember you told me. Yeah, but um, it was more of like a, a Sunday school thing. Like, there was yeah. a, a Vietnamese class underground. Yeah. Uh-huh. Why was it underground? So, the church was... Because we have basements in Pennsylvania. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, you can say basement, but damn. I don't and know why was, the idea But it was literally underground. Like, I was like, was it illegal? Because on the outside, there was a door underground, and you would enter it. Oh, my it. gosh. I would not go. I would tell my mom that I was scared. But, yeah, I, go. I would go for a Vietnamese class because my mom wanted to, even though I'm like, Mom, I'm like, dude, we speak Vietnamese at home. I'm pretty fluent. But she wanted me to learn how to read and write. Never worked. Like, I can read a little bit, but I can't write. Um, so I would go to Vietnamese class, uh, and it was for the kids that were in the class, they had just finished church, so they've been there all day, mm. but I'm just popping in for Vietnamese class. Wait, your mom sent you just to learn more Vietnamese? Yeah, because she, she wanted me to read, uh, read and I write. I had no idea about that part. Yeah, she wanted me to read and write. What? Well, I had no idea you had a fever at two and almost died. Oh, <laughs> We're learning new things about each other. That's true. That's true. <laughs> well, we did learn more. Yeah, when you said I what? was dying at two, I was like, in the ten years we've been friends, you don't want to tell me this story? Well, it's just so long ago, and it's like, it doesn't affect my life. <laughs> it does <Until> now. now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll explain that another day. Uh, but, 
Yeah, so my mom would send me there. And like, um, the adults there she worked with at her work. Oh, okay. I was like, so yeah. she ran, found a random ass church. Yeah, no, thing. no, no. Okay, that makes more sense. But okay. um, eventually I stopped going because... <laughs> Why are you laughing? Eventually I stopped going because they, um, they were pressuring me to learn about uh, Chris Christianity. Mm -hmm. And it was like a really like uncomfortable pressure. Yeah. Yeah. And so that was my first time experience like, oh, like, and they weren't mean or anything. No, no, no. But it was just very like pressure, yeah. you know. There is, if you're familiar with pre Christianity, there is technically like the end, like you are supposed to get to a point of belief. And once you believe that, you know, it makes you a Christian. Mm -hmm. And I feel like sometimes pushing that on people is very hard. Like it's just. It doesn't sit well with people. Maybe I shouldn't have gone because I'm not Christian and they were like, why are you no, here? No, 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 no. If you're a good Christian, you should want to have conversations with everybody and anybody. But just because you think your belief is the right way does not make it okay for you to make someone else feel less than because they yeah. have a different belief. Because in their belief, you're also dumb if you want to play that game. Like, so just be nice and respectful. Respectful. <laughs> but yeah, that was my first church experience. Wow. And then... That, what you're about to say is my favorite part. No, no, no. No, not that one? This is a different story. Oh, okay. Okay, so that... So that Vietnamese class underground at that church was, I think, when I was in... It was between second and sixth grade. That was a while. Yeah, it was. No, I only went for like a year and a half. Oh, but I'm saying, no wonder they were like, girl, are you going to be Christian or not yet? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just saying I can't remember what age I was, but it was between that time because I lived at a certain house and that's how I like um, correlate okay. my memory. Okay. But before that, that wasn't, that was, I'm sorry, that was not my first church experience. That was my first church experience as in like um, kind of feeling pressured. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. So my first time going to church was when I was, I think, five or six. I think I was more on the six side. Um, I was sent to New Jersey, Patterson, New Jersey, to live with my sister for the summer because my brother was, um, I think, in school or something like that. Mm -hmm. And my mom worked all the time. Mm -hmm. So no one was home during the summer to yeah. watch over me. So my sister was like, you know, send her to pencil or send her to New Jersey. Yes. Um, she, you know, this little six, seven year old, can help at the salon. <laughs> <laughs> She's such a hustle bustle business woman. Because <laughs> you know, in the Asian immigrant culture, there is no mm. age thing. Like, you're going to start helping out in the family business at a very young age. I don't mm. know if you guys have gone to, like, Chinese restaurants and, like, the kids are, like, helping taking orders or, like, <laughs> they're, yeah. or they're just sitting there folding napkins. Like, we start young. So, I would go to Patterson, New Jersey, and I would be there for three months of the summer. Um... But I was still very young, so my sister wasn't going to, like, make me do anything. Mm -hmm. So I was so bored, I would just sit around the salon all day and, like, help here and there. Mm -hmm. So she had a friend, um, and her friend, like, my sister lived in, like, downtown Patterson, which is, like, the city, city part. Mm -hmm. And her friend lived outside of Patterson in, like, more of, like, a um, suburban. suburban area. So she was like, oh, you know... Um, and I, like, knew the daughter. So she was like, oh, since, like, you know, do you want to go live with her for, like, a week? So I was like, of course. Like, I'm so bored. Yeah. So I went to live with the friend for a week in the suburbs. Oh, because you're little. Yeah, I was little. I was seven mm -hmm. or six or whatever yeah. in that range. And my sister trusted her. And she was, like, a family friend. Um, and it was really fun because we would, like, catch fireflies. Oh, that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> Not like fireflies. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so anyways, I stayed there for probably, like, a week or two. Um, I'm sure my sister also was like, I'm running a damn business. Like, I cannot take care. Like, you know, <laughs> they were just, like, floating me around. Um, so when I'm there, they're a Christian. Mm -hmm. So, of course, on Sundays, yeah. I would have to go to church with them. Mm -hmm. So that was my first time going to church. And I remember getting all dressed up because that's what you do for church. Mm -hmm. And then, but I don't, but the thing is, I don't remember what I did at church. That memory has been, it's been long gone. Really? I can't remember that part. However, <laughs> my mom and my brother's favorite memory of me is when and I. And my favorite memory. And Michelle's favorite memory is I was not aware that I was Buddhist. 
Um, my mom like didn't really teach me that until I was a little older. I was not aware that I was Buddhist. Um, I actually didn't really even know religion to be honest when I was that age. That's young. Yeah. That's young. So I don't really, I didn't know anything at that age. So when I came home that summer, um, the first time I sat down at the dinner table with them, I prayed and my mom literally had like maybe a 50% heart attack and was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm Wait, praying. Like, because she was shocked? Yeah, she was like shocked. She was like, what are you doing? Because this whole time she's like, oh, Kim is like, in your, you know? So I, I'm sitting there at the dinner table and I start praying before I eat. But I'm like, you know, like, Heavenly Father. Like, <laughs> you did it out loud too? Like, yeah, because that's what I did at the lady's house. We would hold hands and pray out loud. Whoa. Yeah, so I would be like, thank you, God, for this meal. And my mom was like so confused. And I was like, yeah, I went to church all summer. And so she called my sister. She was like, did you take her to church? And then my sister was like, oh, my God, no, but. Oh, <laughs> my God. So then she had the conversation with me where she was like, well, there are religions and like this is this is this and this is that. Wow. And she's like, we do pray, but we don't pray this way. And like, you know. That is so funny. So that's my favorite memory. That is so funny. And it was funny because that night I remember sitting at the head of the table too. Oh, <laughs> damn. Damn. Ah, oh good times. Yeah, I, I didn't know anything about religion back then. You can ask Tuan about it if I still remember. I think religion can be flexible to be whatever you want it to be. Can I have a napkin? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I think religion is very different for everyone because like there are, like I remember in like my Lunar New Year's vlog when Carlos participated um, uh, praying mm -hmm. to Buddha in mom's my mom's uh, meditation room. Yeah. There were definitely a few people that were very upset because he was Christian um, and he shouldn't be doing that, you know. Cause I it think was, it's... Because um, it's written in the Bible and so... Um, people were very upset. I think people are being nice by sharing their life with you. I think you should just shut the fuck up, honestly. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I don't, like... And I also think it's a personal decision. Yeah, like, if you believe that, because I know where they're coming from, by the way. Yeah. I am not not aware of the Bible. I have to double check with Michelle. I explained it to I was like, oh my god, in the Bible, does it say that, like... As a Christian, like, you can't do that. And so Michelle explained it to me. You can't have other idols. So, yeah. yes, I understand. But it's just, we live in a world of so many different people, so many different religions and cultures. Yeah. Just be respectful. Yeah, so I asked Carlos, I was like, well, how do you feel about that? Because, you know... Yeah. I don't ever want you to do something that you're not comfortable with. Like, you don't have to do those things. Well, see, that even sucked that you even had to... Go to him and ask him mm -hmm. when he has willingly done it. But, like, I already knew how he felt, but I just wanted to, like, reassure Double, yeah. because, like, this 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 time was different because I didn't know it was in the Bible, I guess. And I, like, never want to, like, cross any boundaries. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, my no, God. No, that was extremely respectful of me. I was like, yeah, this feels a little bit more serious than mm. before. But when I talked to him, he was like... I love it. Like, we've been doing it for, like, six years now. Yeah. If I didn't want to do something, I wouldn't have. And so, I don't know. These days, I will say I'm a lot more spiritual than I am Christian. And that's very big for me to say because I was very proud of my Christianity. Mm -hmm. But I've changed so much in that aspect. And I've gone through a lot with my church family and all that stuff. Yeah. But... I still have the same roots. It's just your religion is not better than anybody else's religion. It's I, just. I think at the end of the day, you're right. Just respect. Yeah, it's all it is. You don't have to believe it. Mm hmm. And you also can respectfully decline. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Exactly. And you don't have to do it, and you doing it doesn't mean that you believe it or anything. Like, you know, it's just. Just be respectful about everything. Some people are just not, kids running around these days are not respectful. What are your opinions on if you and your husband were different religions? Uh-huh. And your kids, what are you going to do with your kids? Are you going to let them, let them, right? I, I would hope that my husband wants to raise them the way that I do with religion. Like very, yeah. like, say, say by chance I marry someone who is Catholic. Yeah. Uh, Emma would have a field day. 
Um, really? Yeah. yeah. Oma would be extremely disappointed. But you see how different you are from mm -hmm. Oma? It just varies. Yeah. Um, if he was Catholic, but he was also kind of distant from the church with me, mm -hmm. I would love it if he took the kids to church with him. Yeah. But then I am uncomfortable if it steps too far. Like, I don't really want, like, my parents-in-laws to, like, drill it into no, my kids. Yeah. You know, kind of thing? Like, mm -hmm. we have to be on even we, ground. We all, as, like, a village, have to be on, yeah. Yes. I think the thing with being Buddhist is that I, what I love about being Buddhist is that it is not invasive at all. Mm -mm. Like I, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I can say this because I know how Michelle feels, but like my mom has never made Michelle or Carlos feel uncomfortable. I think my mom, her favorite thing is just kind of like, this is my meditation room. Mm -hmm. These are my Buddhas and like, these are the traditions we do. Like, you know, if you don't want to pray, you don't have to pray. Do you, like. She's asked, you know, Michelle. Oh my gosh, yeah. She like um, blesses like new cars and homes and things like that. I learned that through you guys. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my gosh, like that makes sense to me though. Like, yeah. don't you want to bless it? And it's like, why would I deny a blessing? A blessing. Like, yeah, or like, she's like asked us if we wanted to go to temple with her mm -hmm. just to like see how things work. Cause for my mom, it's more of like, sharing sharing just, what she loves and like if you're interested in learning um like ask her all the questions you want so it's very like a it's a very safe comfortable atmosphere i have yes it is really safe because i have never felt like oh it's just kim's family's buddhist yeah and all i get from that especially with her mom being like your mom is just like the epitome of like Buddhism, she like it's just she really is. And all I can say about that woman is that she has the kindest soul. So why in the world would I not like yeah. a woman or someone who is Buddhist when all they all they want is kindness mm -hmm. and peace for literally every being, whether that be yeah. plants, animals, humans. Oh, don't even get me started with animals and plants. This freaking lady. <laughs> has rescued <laughs> like squirrels that have fallen off branches and she has reunited them on a ladder with their moms. I'm mm -hmm. like, mother. And Marley gave the squirrel a high five. The, my mom's like a different Mom, breed. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's like a different breed. But back to the kid question. Yeah, no, I like for Carlos and I, we have talked about it cause like I'm Buddhist and he's Christian. And he's just like, well, you know what? I, he, when he was growing up, he didn't go to church. And I'm like, Carlos, um, you know, like, I understand that your, when you were growing up, your mom didn't really, uh, create a lot of traditions. Mm. Like he didn't really hunt for eggs. Like there was no East, things like that. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like, I think I pray with Carlos's family once a year and that's on Thanksgiving. Like, you know what I'm really? saying? Yeah. Like oh, they okay. don't really like go to church or anything. Yeah. So I was like, you know, if Christian, Christian, Christianity Christianity. It's such a hard word for me. <laughs> it's really important to you, which, you know, I think it should be. And we, we want to, like, teach her, like, share yes. both of our religions with our kids. Like, if you don't go to church, like, I, we're, Carlos and I have discussed that we're okay going to Michelle's church and, like, oh, yeah. sharing Easter with our kids. You know, like, this is what you do. Um, and, like, on Easter, we go to church. And, like, this is what you do at church. And, like, if they grow up and they decide to... They Make, go, oh, I really like the Buddhist community and, like, yeah. I want to know more. I'm really okay with them making That's their great. own decisions. The best thing you can do, I think, is give all the best information about all the religions and they do what they want to do with it. Because at the end of the day, they're going to grow up and become adults like us and do whatever the hell they want to do anyways. But I think it's good to just teach. But, I mean, like, my, my second oldest sister, her ex-husband is Christian. Oh, and my mom was like, "Yeah, he's Christian. We're Buddhist." Like, really? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, the kid's dad. Oh, yeah. So it was just kind of like a balance in their household too. Mm. Well, mm-hmm. This is so good, mom. I think we should just focus on the best things of all aspects of. I don't really know religion. how we ended up. I don't know either. Deep diving. This is a very deep conversation. Well, a lot of people don't talk about politics or 
religion. religion and I totally understand why I it can too. get so crazy but yeah. you can have healthy balance conversations about these topics because but you need to be respectful mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying yeah because the base of all of that is to have respect if you walk in to the conversation already thinking that you're right don't even have it oh yeah no yeah no 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 if you're not willing to listen and understand you have to try and understand because it isn't your religion you don't have to okay. agree you don't, have to, you don't agree. have to agree and you don't have to correct them either by the way you just you just go oh wow i didn't know that was it delicious? Yeah, I think I like eating it more because of the freaking glass jars. Yeah, I know. I will say though, I, I've seen it a couple times and people say it's like one of their best sellers. It's good. I'm trying to eat all of it so I can give it to my mom because she makes homemade yogurt. She's going to love it. And these are glass jars, you guys. She's going to love it. But she, uh, when she makes homemade yogurt, she uses the plastic yo, yo plate. Oh. Yeah, and I'm like, Mom, I don't know if that's a good idea. Let's get you some glass little like, containers. Wait, I can, I can do, I can do better. Literally. Okay, you guys, thanks so much mm. for having dinner with us. Uh, we have a lot of leftover food. The crab was amazing. Go to Costco. It mm. really is. It. Mm -hmm. It's not salty. It's sweet. But we love you guys. Um, we're gonna go watch some TV and hang out. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.